Having made two of these videos already this year, I honestly didn't think I'd need to make a third, but the last quarter of the year has given us some of the best Easter eggs of 2020. Now, as is the case with all of the best of videos, regular viewers of my channel will have seen the majority of these Easter eggs before, especially if you watch my video game Easter egg series. But it would be incredibly hard to make an end of year list only featuring Easter eggs I haven't covered. As always, if you think you know of an Easter egg that should have been in this video, then the best place to let me know is in the comment section or on my social media accounts, the links to which are in the the description. Oh, and if you do go on to enjoy this video, then leaving a like, subscribing, or turning notifications on is really appreciated. Anyway, without further delay, let's get started. So to start today's video, let's take a look at one of my personal games of the year. Releasing in October, Ghost Runner made you feel like a badass ninja as you cut your way through various enemies dodging bullets as you go. It really is a great game and one I don't think has had enough attention. Now, probably the best Easter egg in Ghost Runner references one of 2020's biggest games. So this is one of the guys from Fall Guys, a game that took the internet by storm in August of this year. Next up is Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time. Releasing in September, Crash returned to doing what he does best, serving up addictive but pretty challenging platform levels mixed with tons of callbacks to previous Crash Bandicoot games. My favourite easter egg from Crash 4 can be found on the hole in space level. If you manage to grab all of the fruit whilst grinding the rail, this will happen. So the whoa meme was originally made by YouTuber Only Plays, so it's pretty cool to see it included in Crash 4. Oh, and if you happen to complete this section as Coco, this will happen instead. Up next is the excellent Spider-Man Miles Morales. Releasing just over a month ago on the 12th of November, Miles Morales is another excellent Spider-Man game developed by Insomniac Games. Now, as is the case with most superhero games, Miles Morales is packed with Easter eggs and references, but I've managed to select a couple of the best for this video. First up is a tribute to a comic book icon. So this statue serves as a memorial to Stan Lee, a man responsible for some of the most popular comic book characters of all time. Another touching tribute can be found on one of the street signs at this location on the map. Jeez. Just because it's not Christmas anymore doesn't mean... Uh, okay, bye. So, Bozeman Way is a tribute to Black Panther actor Chadwick Bozeman, who sadly passed away this year, aged just 43. The final Easter egg from Mars Morales can be found graffitied on a wall at this location on the map. So this adorable little guy actually belongs to Eric Monicelli, the director of production at Marvel Games. Eric has shared this location on his Twitter multiple times and has encouraged players to go and find the little fella for themselves. Now of course, Miles Morales wasn't the only Spider-Man game we got this year. The original Spider-Man on the PS4 was given a PlayStation 5 makeover, though that didn't apply to everything. The boat people found in the PS4 version of Spider-Man became overnight memes with their low quality character models being the butt of jokes on the internet for weeks after the the game's release. Well, the strange looking boat people are back in the PS5 remaster, and this time they're expecting you. Now, when exploring the world of Wasteland 3, you're bound to find some strange discoveries, but I don't think there are many stranger than this next Easter egg. If you head to the Little Vegas brothel, you can find a room with a goat. Now, I know what you're thinking why is a goat in a brothel? Well, why do you think? If you pay Joker the Goat $10, it will unfurl its massive 8-inch tongue. Couple that with the fact that the bed is apparently where the magic happens, and I'm sure you're already forming unwanted images in your head. Oh, and we're not done yet. In the Goat's pleasure pen, you can find this recording. Oh, hi. Aren't you a 
sexy little thing. This, uh, this is my first time. So, how do we do this? Do I just... <laughs> oh! Whoa, okay! <laughs> t t take it off? I... Uh, on my knees? Uh, okay. Oh! Oh, God! Let's all just agree to forget that this ever happened. So up next is the game that provided us with some of 2020's best Easter eggs. Call of Duty Modern Warfare has appeared on this channel more than any other game this year. I mean, that may not be true, but it sure feels like it. The reason for that are Easter eggs like this one. On the station gunfight map, you can find several numbers hidden behind shootable objects. After revealing all of the numbers, enter them into this keypad for this to happen. I mean, by now we're all used to seeing teddy bears in the Call of Duty series, but this is the biggest bear yet. Another game that is loaded with easter eggs is Serious Sam 4. Releasing in September, Serious Sam 4 offered more of the same for Serious Sam fans, which meant big guns, bigger enemies and plenty of bad puns. My favourite easter egg from Serious Sam 4 can be found during chapter 10. If you head to the rock overlooking the quarry and jump off, this will happen. So the Eagle Screech along with the hay bale for landing are references to the Leap of Faith from the Assassin's Creed series. Next up is another Call of Duty game, this time it's Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Much like Modern Warfare, Cold War has some great easter eggs, so picking out just a few of my favourites was actually pretty difficult. The first Cold War easter egg can be found on the red light green light mission. As you progress through the level, you come to an assault course designed to look like an American town. This includes the iconic Burger Town restaurant chain and its creepy mascot. Well if you repeatedly press the button on the side of the mascot, this will happen. So not only will the mascot tell you that you're going to love his meat inside of you, but he also poops out a grenade launcher to help you even the odds. The next Cold War easter egg can be found in the Nuketown 84 map. Releasing after the game's launch, Nuketown 84 is actually the 974th different version of Nuketown to feature in a Call of Duty game. But the fact that it keeps getting bought back means that people must love it. As has been the case with all of the past versions of Nuketown, an easter egg can be triggered on the map by shooting the heads of the mannequins in under one minute. If done correctly, this will happen. So your reward for the decapitation of countless harmless mannequins is a fancy filter. This isn't the only filter though, there is a much cooler looking blue variant that you can unlock with the one that you see being random. The final Cold War easter egg comes from the zombies mode, because what end of year easter egg video would be complete without Call of Duty zombies. To unlock this easter egg you must first turn on the pack a punch machine. After doing so, six orbs will appear around the map for you to shoot. Here are their locations. Oh, my God. 
So shooting the six orbs will take you to a room with dancing zombies recreating the Ugandan coffin meme that shot to fame this year. So this next game is one that I'm pretty excited about. Grounded is a survival game by Obsidian Entertainment that entered early access for PC and Xbox in July of this year. Having played a bit of the game, it's easy to see the potential this game has. For those that don't know, you play as a child who has been shrunk down to the size of an insect and must survive the treacherous land that is your back garden. Doing so involves lots of exploration and it's when exploring that you can find this. So this is Rash from Battletoads, a series that saw a mini revival in 2020 with the release of the first game in the series since 1994. So the final game for today's video is the excellent Astro's Playroom. Those of you who watch my video game easter egg series will already know what a treasure trove of references this game is, but I'm just not sure that a full video on the game would be worth it so far after the game's release. I promise if enough of you ask for it in the comments, I'll get it done. For now though, here are my favourite references in Astro's Playroom. Now I tend not to get too sentimental on this channel, I try to keep it concise and straight to the point um, and I hope you guys appreciate that but I just want to say thank you for what has been a tough year for so many but you guys have made it bearable um, and sometimes even enjoyable with your feedback and the fact that you watch my videos. I still can, can't get over the fact that we managed to hit 500,000 subscribers this year, uh, which is insane. I've left this little message in, until the end of the video because hopefully that's when my most hardcore, uh, air commas there by the way, hardcore uh, fans would still be around. So yeah, this is just a thank you. A thank you for all of the support. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for checking out my Patreon. Thank you for basically supporting me in any way that you have this year. Uh, I hope you all have a great new year and hopefully 2021 is a lot better than 2020. Thank you all and I'll speak to you all soon.